So now, uh, alam na natin kung paano yung sketch, uh, set up yung sketchup natin by opening the different toolbars na needed natin for our 3D modeling. So, now discuss natin yung how you will create your model na. So, this is the default tray. You can see here the pin icon. We can auto-hide this one. So, dito sa default tray kasi, you can see here na yung pinaka uh, properties nung model mo. Now, one skin link mo siya. So, ito yung sa entity info. And then, so, pag sinilik mo siya, lalabas yung uh, properties niya. Next is yung materials. So, si materials, ito ka para magkukulay. This is where you get your materials. Later on, discuss din natin if you, don't, if, it, if you have different materials, kung paano siya gagawin. Next is yung components. So, si SketchUp, meron na siyang uh, sariling components na. So, dito mo siya makikita. So, meron kang component sampler, then they dynamic components really. Anyway, you can download rin naman yung mga different components that you want. Okay. Next is yung styles. So, yung styles, yung magiging itsura nung pinaka-model mo. Since, for example, you don't have the plugin like V-Ray, uh, parang ito yung magiging render style nung uh, SketchUp mo or nung model mo sa SketchUp. So, you can change the lines, the line weights, the color of your lines, uh, yung color nung mismo model. If you want it like na medyo sketchy, pwede rin siya dito or like blueprint yung style nung model mo, dito siya. It also affects yung mismo kulay ng uh, models mo. Since naglagay ka ng materials, once na in-edit mo yung styles mo, pwede rin siya ma-apekpahan. Depende sa styles na pinili mo. Ito ang didiscuss pa rin natin siya. Then layers, halos same with uh, AutoCAD, you can put layers dun sa model mo. Pero it doesn't affect the uh, line weights or the line types. Ang um, Sa layer lang, yung mismong papeta may layer ng object. So, halos same lang din. Ang pinaka-purpose niya is para hindi ka malito doon sa object sa meron ka. You can hide kasi or unhide yung object na pag mag-edit ka. So, halos yun yung purpose ni layers kay uh, SketchUp. Then, shadows. This is where you can uh, edit the shadows or you can control the sun. So, yan, meron siyang time. You can also select kung anong klaseng time na gusto mo. Or you can just input it here. Or you can scroll this down. Kung morning dito, kung evening dito. Yung date, ito yung mga first letters dun sa mga sa month. So, January, February, March, April, May. So, ikaw rin magsisetup kung anong gusto mong month. Or date din. You can just click this calendar. You can select kung anong date ang gusto mo. Then, light and door. So, ito naman, uh, yung sa shading. Kung gusto mo masyadong dark yung uh, shades mo, yan. Dito mo siya edit. Later on, i-discuss rin natin siya for you to understand it more. Then, scenes. So, nabanggit ko kanina, nabanggit ko dun sa last video, with regards sa view, uh, dito mo makikita yung mga scenes na ginawa mo. So, halos uh, once na gamawa kasi ng scene, magkakasunod yun. So, you can create walkthrough using that scene. Then, uh, instructor, ito yung parang tutorial mo. Yeah. So, soften edges, uh, once you click the object, you can uh, soft yung edges niya. Since, uh, si SketchUp kasi, or yung mga 3D, uh, gumagamit siya ng maraming lines. So, dito, medyo ma-hide yung lines na yun. Masa-soften yung edges niya. Hindi siya edgy to me. So, yan. So, i-unpin muna natin siya or auto-hide para hindi makabuli doon siya. Nagawin natin mo din. So, ito, uh, every release ni SketchUp ng uh, bagong version, may mga taong lamalaba. So, may mga pangalan sila. So, hindi ko na inalam yung pangalan niya. So, we can just 
uh, erase this one. So we can start with our uh, model. So in selecting pala, halos same lang din with AutoCAD. Ang kaibahan lang is wala siyang SketchUp, wala siyang lasso selection. Sa so, AutoCAD kasi meron. So halos same with AutoCAD. So from right, hindi siya i-click mo lang. What you have to do is to drag the cursor para makapag-select ka. So, if from right going to left, kung ano yung mahagip nung uh, gusto mong selection mo, kahit maliit lang yon, maseselect siya. Kapag from left to right, kung ano lang yung nasa loob nitong rectangle ng selection mo, yun lang yung maseselect. Kahit may mahagip siyang maliit dun sa other object, hindi pa rin yung maseselect yun. Unless na dun mismo sa loob no, uh, selection mo. So, yeah. so, by creating model, ah, nag-open na tayo ng mga toolbars natin. So, dito sa getting, ah, sa may large tool, dito ka makakagawa ng ah, mismong model mo. So, we have line, freehand, rectangle, rotated rectangle, circle, polygon, arc, 2-point R, 3-point R, and pi. So, ito yung mga gamitin mo to create uh, model. So, starting with line, so, may mga shortcuts din sila. So, depende sa inyo, so, you can set up naman yung uh, shortcuts. Pero, yung iba kasi, once nag-install uh, sila ng SketchUp, walang mga shortcut yon. So, para malagyan mo ng shortcut, yung uh, command, you have to go to Windows. And then, Preferences. So, dito, makikita mo yung accessibility, applications, compatibility, uh, drawing, files, general, OpenGL, and shortcuts. So, shortcuts, dito ka maglalagay ng shortcut. So, for example, yung line, wala kang shortcut doon. So, you have to type line. Yan. So, Draw lines and then line. So, dito meron akong naka-assign na, na shortcut. So, ang shortcut usually sa SketchUp, yung pinaka-first letter lang nung command. Pero yung iba dito, uh, medyo malayo na rin yung, yung mismong shortcut nila. So, yan. So, if you want to add shortcut, you have to type. Uh, L. So, ayan. Meron akong L. Or we can use the uh, other commands or other letters pala. For example, you want delete. Ikiklik mo lang yung uh, plus symbol. Mapupunta siya dito. So, once nakilik mo yung delete sa keyboard mo, ikikrate siya na lines. So, ako okay naman na ako dito sa command na meron ako, which is L. So, I don't have to uh, put shortcut commands na. So, I have to cancel it na lang. Pero, if you want to put uh, shortcut commands to other uh, commands that you want, you can just put it here. So, yeah, cancel ko na siya. So, erase ko na muna to. So, in erasing sa uh, SketchUp, you can just type or click E for the shortcut or you can just click the uh, command tool or itong icon pala. Sorry. Ayan. Ayan. Pwede rin naman yung control G natin. So, pwede naman yung delete lang mismo. Ayan. So, wala na siya. So, halos same lang naman din. You can control Z for undo. Control Y for redo. So, control C for copy. Uh, control S for save. And control Shift S for save as. Or you can just click the file tab. Ayan. So, start tayo with line. So, click L or click this icon to create a line. So, sa pag-move ng, uh, ng view mo sa SketchUp, so, sa mouse mo gagamitin para mas mabilis. Although, you can use pa rin naman command sa SketchUp. 
So, if you're going to use the ma your mouse, so yung escape muna natin, or your space bar. So, yung left uh, click for selection, yung right click, wala. Then, yung scroll, once na hinold mo siya, pwede mong ma-orbit yung view mo. Then, scroll up, mag-zoom out, scroll down, mag-zoom in. So, yun lang yung uh, pag-galaw uh, pag dun sa mismong view ni uh, SketchUp. So, yun. Pwede rin naman yung kay AutoCAD, you have to press P for pan. Pero kay SketchUp, H lang for hand. So, yung hand niya is pan din kay uh, AutoCAD. Ay, kay SketchUp. So, pag O, orbit siya. Yan. Yan. Then, if you want to cancel the command, uh, press spacebar. So, again, start tayo with line. So, click mo siya or type L for command. So, dito mapapansin nyo, mayroon kang uh, Y for the green axis, red for the X, and blue for the Z axis. So, since naka 3D na tayo, so meron ng uh, presence ni Z axis. Yeah. So, sa pagawa ng line, uh, you have to click and you can click naman anywhere or you can start with the uh, zero axis or sa zero coordinates so yan so pwede nga create ng lines click mo lang to then i-position mo kung saan mo gusto uh, mag-create ng lines or you can just click na lang so yan mapansin nyo may lines ka na okay pero pag may sukat for example, dito ako sa area na ito. You can, nakipapansin nyo itong uh, parang command line niya. Dito yan. So, you can just type lang din naman yung length ng uh, lines mo. For example, 1 meter. So, 1,000. Since naka millimeter tayo. Then, enter mo lang. So, yan na. Then, connected siya. I mean, you can just uh, i-position mo lang yung mismo ano mo uh, cursor kung saan mo lalagay then type mo na lang yung uh, length so another 1000 so yan so yan kung gusto mo ma-align siya dapat um guma uh, I mean nag-highlight din kasi yung lines eh. so ito naka-highlight naging green yung lines mo ibig sabihin kapantay niya itong not green axis. Nasa green axis siya, uh, magkikrate ng line. So, be aware lang or be mindful lang doon sa positioning ng uh, lines mo. So, dito naman, makapansin nyo, naging blue line, meaning nasa z-axis ako or nasa blue axis. Okay. Pag ito naman, naging red, meaning nasa red, along red axis ako gumagawa ng line. So, once na nakakreate ka ng na-close mo yung lines mo, magiging face siya. Magkakaroon ng face. So, yan. So, is, uh, space bar to escape the command. So, nakikilik mo yung face niyan. So, pag gray siya, meaning uh, ito yung likod. Then, pag sinag mo ilalim, white, ito yung pinaka-face. So, ang gawin mo is to reverse yung uh, face niya. So, what you have to do is to right click. Then, reverse faces. So, yan. Ito ka kasi sa white maglalagay ng materials. Okay. So, that's how you will create or use your line to create your model. So, next naman na discuss natin si freehand. Okay. So, by creating a freehand, you freehand lines, click mo lang tong icon. I don't have a shortcut here kasi hindi ko naman siya masyadong ginagamit. So, click mo lang yung si freehand. So, pinagkaiba ni lines kay freehand line 
is ito, you have to uh, hold the left uh, click para makapag-click ka ng lines. Unlike kay lines, you can just click it anywhere, then you can see naman yung lines kung saan mo gusto ang ipunta. Okay, so yan. And dapat magka-close siya para magkaroon ka ng face. Kasi once hindi nag-close yung uh, lines na ginawa mo, at walang nabuong face, ibig sabihin, medyo mali yung orientation or positioning ng lines mo. Baka hindi siya nagpantay or uh, baka nasa z-axis pala siya. Wala dun. Hindi siya nag-run along the other axis na para mag-close yung lines mo. So, yun. So, yan. Pwede ka na makakreate ng freehand lines. So, click mo lang yung E para makapag-erase kayo ng excess lines. So, yan na siya. Next naman is yung rectangle. So, si rectangle, uh, shortcut niya is R. Compare kay CAD, R E C. So, ito, pwede mo naman i-click. You just have to press the R. So, ito naman siya. So, pag may nakita kayong diagonal na dots, it means na golden section siya. Okay, pag sinabi natin golden section, uh, yung sabihin, square siya. Uh, naka 45 degree yung angle nung angle was na kinato siya. Yeah. Ibig sabihin, uh, all sides na are equal. Ganun din siya. So, you can see here naman sa dimensions, pag naka-golden section, yan, ibig sabihin, dimension niya is, yung length and width niya is, parehas lang. So, by creating rectangle, you have to click first here, anywhere you want, then click on the other, or other areas you want to. So, yan. Yan yung first way. So, yung second way naman is, click mo lang din siya. Then, you have to type the length and width of your uh, rectangle. So, for example, uh, 1,500. Then, press nyo yung comma. Tapos, 1,000. So, yan. Maka-create ka na ng rectangle. Next naman is itong rotated rectangle. So, select first corner. Yan. Then, uh, papapiliin ka kung saan axis. Kung sa green axis ka maglalagay or sa red. You can type lang din naman yung length. For example, 1000. So, yan siya. Meaning, itong line na to is 1 meter. Next, papapiliin ka kung gusto mo sa red axis or sa blue axis ka maglalagay. Okay. So, dito rin makakaselect ako anong angle. Yan. So, for example, gusto natin sa blue. You can type or so dito sa makikita nyo, width and angle. Dito sa baba. Yan. So, unang uh, input is yung mismong uh, width niya. For example, 1,500. Then, kama, for anong angle? Sabi natin, 45. Yan. Ganyan siya. So, before, wala pang ganyan kay uh, SketchUp. So, mga lower versions niya. So, next is si circle So, si circle uh, shortcut niya is letter C. Or you can just click this one. So, yan. So, now, didiscuss naman natin is yung uh, circle. So, ang shortcut ko man niya is letter C. So, press mo lang yung C, dadapas si circle. Or you can just click this icon. So, yung creating circle, halos same lang din. So, you have to click first, uh, specify your first point, then second point. So, yan. Yeah. Another naman, first point, then you can type the length. So, makikita nyo dito yung radius. So, for example, 1,000. So, yan yung maging laki ng circle ko. Now, you can see here sa baba, 
is control plus or control minus to change the number of segments. Kasi pag sinum in si circle, may mga segments siya. Hindi siya yung katulad sa cut na as in straight yung edges niya na form talaga siya ng circle. So dito, kay SketchUp, segments by segments siya. Para siyang polygon. So, if you want to add segments pa para mas pino yung edges niya, or parang circle na circle talaga. So, click mo lang siya, tapos control plus mo siya. So, yan. 48, yan. Nakita yung dumadami. So, yan ganyan karami yung sides niya. Kapag gusto niya papapain, control minus. Yan. So, yan. Ibig sabihin, ganyan nakapino yung segments niya. Mas lumadami yung segments, mas lumiliit to. Yan. So, that's how you would create your circle. Next naman is itong polygon. So, si polygon, wala rin siyang actually a shortcut command. So, depende sa inyo if you want to put a command. Shortcut command for that. So, creating polygon. So, click mo lang yung icon. Specify yung first point. Tapos, second point. Ganyan. So, you can type also yung radius. For example, 200. So, ito, naka-reverse siya. So, how to same now din with circuit. Uh, polygon. So, control plus to change the number of segments. So, for example, yan, nakita, naging 7 segment na siya. So, naging uh, pentagon. Ay, heptagon. Heptagon, sorry. So, yan. Before clicking, you can change naman the number of segments. So, control plus lang. So, nakita nyo dito sa baba, yung sides. Yan. Ganyan na siya. So, parang naging circle na din. So, gano'n. So, now, didiscuss naman natin ngayon is yung R. So, uh, shortcut command for R is A. So, press A. Or you just click this icon. So, yung... To create that, so, specify first point. So, so first point. Then, second point would be your end point. Then, your third point would be your midpoint. So, ganyan siya. Uh, be mindful again with your uh, axis. Kung saan kayo magagawa. Kasi ang tendency baka hindi siya mag-close. Dahil iba yung axis na ginawa nyo. So, next one is itong arc. Wala na siyang shortcut command. So, depende sa inyo if you want to put a shortcut command for that. So, you can just click this icon. Then, ito naman, yung first point, yung pinaka midpoint mo. So, yung second point would be the radius. So, you can type din naman kung anong length niya or ng radius mo. So, yan. Tapos, yung second point, or yung, I mean, third point, yung pinaka end point mo. So, dyan may kita yung protractor kasi siya yung magset kung anong angle nung third point mo. So, kung gusto mo na yung degrees, yan, may kita naman dito kung anong angle siya. You can just also put the angle. So, yan. For example, 150. So, to cancel na kaman, uh, press escape. So, again, yung magagawa dun sa R, which is this icon. So, next is this uh, 3 point R. So, wala rin siyang shortcut command. So, click mo na lang yung icon. Sa 3 point, kung mapapansin nyo sa logo, parang may red na triangle siya dyan. So, meaning, first point, then second point would be your midpoint, then third point would be your end point. Ayan siya. So, you can type rin naman yung Yung sa length, yung layo nung uh, midpoint mo. Kasi sinabi, 500. So, sabihin yung, yan yung midpoint mo. 
then angle. Ano ang angle ng third point mo? Example, uh, 45. Ganyan lang siya. Okay. So, hindi naman masyadong nagagamit yung mga yan. Ang, kung mag-arc ka, usually, yung two-point arc or itong arc na to. So, depende rin naman actually sa design mo kung paano mo siya gagawin. X is yung pi. So, itong pi naman, halos siya same ng arc. Pero ito, close naman ito. Meron na siyang face. So, sa arc, first point, tapos, ito yung parang pinaka-pointed niya. Kung dito sa logo, ito siya. Then, second point, yung length. Or yung parang radius mo. So, yun, nasa green axis tayo. Then, yung last point would be the angle. So, anong angle? May 45. So, ayan siya. Nagiging pa yung dating niya. So, always reverse the faces of the uh, objects that you have. Kasi yun yung kukulayan nyo or ilalagay nyo ng material. Ayan. So, you can select naman yan. Kaso nga lang, pag nag-reverse face ka, madadama yung iba. So, right-click mo lang para lumabas yung uh, options na to. So, yeah, that's how you create shapes using the SketchUp.